Hello and welcome to this series. For a start, we have a thought experiment for you. You are in Frankfurt. You want to go to Berlin 420 km away as soon as possible. You have two options. Take the Intercity Express train or a Lufthansa flight. Which would you choose? Think hard before you give your answer. And while you do so, I will give you some information to help you weigh your options properly. Welcome back to our green travel series. In a joint effort between DW Travel and DW Hindi, we looked at the changing situation of air and train travel with a focus on making it greener. This is episode number two and today we are looking at getting around Germany by train and plane to see if there are any sustainable practices that can be applied to my country, India. For us, a mode of transport must have three aspects. It must be fast, comfortable and clean or we would say green. We have picked out a frequently travelled route Frankfurt to Berlin which connects Germany's financial and aviation hub with the capital. Each year scores of tourists and business travellers commute between both cities. In this plane versus train debate, we will let the planes make their case first. I am here at the Frankfurt airport to see what they are doing to make air travel cleaner and greener. Despite alarming findings about global warming, air traffic continued to increase right up until the coronavirus outbreak. In 2019, there were around 4.5 billion flights worldwide. The coronavirus pandemic saw a sharp decline in air travel. However, like every other sector in the global economy, aviation is on track for a swift recovery. Experts are still hopeful that air travel will double by 2040. The story is no different in Germany's busiest airport, Frankfurt. It serviced some 71 million passengers in 2019. This makes it an ideal airport to compare with New Delhi's IGI airport, which saw a footfall of around 69 million passengers in 2019. From Frankfurt, you can fly to at least 300 destinations worldwide. And there are a total of 100 airlines that will take you there. There are several flights to other German cities every day. For example, there are 11 just to Berlin. The flight itself takes just one hour, though getting to and from the airport and going through security adds several more hours. Realistically, then, getting from Frankfurt to Berlin takes four hours door to door. Planes are fast. That's no secret. So let's have a look at how green they are. At Frankfurt airport, a total of 14.7 million litres of kerosene are filled into aircrafts every day. Fuel that when burned releases harmful greenhouse gases among other things. Fortunately, efforts are being made to reduce such damaging exhaust fumes and there is plenty of potential to cut back on greenhouse emissions. Airports are working hard to assure travellers that they are a sustainable airport. Oops. Plastic. There are numerous ways for airports to conserve energy and cut back on CO2 emissions. For example, using or generating renewable energy, optimizing thermal insulation and ventilation, deploying cogeneration units to generate electricity and heat at the same time and using district heating or cooling. Other options include installing an energy-efficient IT infrastructure and lighting system. And last but not least, encouraging passengers to travel to and from airports by public transport rather than by car. In my country, Delhi Airport is trying to do its part to cut emissions. As part of a massive expansion and upgrade project, they are adding India's first elevated cross taxiway. This dual corridor will reduce the distance a plane must taxi from runway to various airport terminals. Once the project is completed in December 2022, it will save 55,000 tons of CO2 annually. The airport also has two Delhi metro lines running right up to the terminals. Additionally, there are buses 
to various destinations in the city. But making airports more sustainable or greener only solves a part of the problem. The flights also need to be made more sustainable. Air travel produces more emissions per passenger kilometer than any other mode of transportation. One way to reduce emissions is to make more efficient engines, which is already underway worldwide. Another is to replace or supplement conventional kerosene jet fuel with sustainable aviation fuel. Sustainable aviation fuel is produced without using fossil-based resources such as oil, coal and natural gas. Instead, it uses alternatives such as plant oils, waste gases and agricultural residues, which makes it cleaner than conventional kerosene. There is another way too. Passengers or airlines willing to offset their carbon emissions can choose to donate money to environmental projects that strive to reduce or capture CO2 elsewhere. This method, however, has also been criticized because it focuses more on compensating for your carbon emissions rather than reducing it. Anyone booking a flight with Germany's Lufthansa, for example, can use the My Climate website to calculate how much CO2 the trip will emit and can then opt to donate a corresponding amount of money to climate protection projects. Lufthansa is also offering more ways to fly carbon neutral. They have announced a few options to minimize the carbon emissions of their flights. Customers can choose to use sustainable aviation fuel, support certified climate protection projects or opt for a mix of both. Now let's get back to our thought experiment, getting from Frankfurt to Berlin. The airplanes have spoken, now is the time for trains to present their case. I am at Frankfurt's main station. It takes just 15 minutes to get here with the local train from Frankfurt airport. We have Mr. Gaulkar with us. He represents an organization named Allianz Pro Sheena. Sheena is railways in German, so he is pro railway and also represents the rights of consumers. Uh, thank you for giving us time. Can you please tell us uh, why railways are better option, greener option? Railways are, are um, foremost uh, more efficient than any other means of transport, be it uh, the car, be it by airplane. Airplane is especially a very harmful thing for the environment. When you go for a flight between Munich and Hamburg, which is roughly 600 kilometers by air, uh, the pollution per passengers is 120 kilograms of harmful uh, carbon dioxide, while the train ride would only be 14 uh, kilograms per passenger. So it's a huge difference and there's no real, uh, real reason um, for choosing the plane between Munich and Hamburg concerning time so it makes probably a difference between one hour and two hours when you start from the center of Munich to the center of Hamburg. A train from Frankfurt to Berlin is certainly the cleaner and arguably the more comfortable option. The fastest direct train will get you there in four hours. There is also a rail and fly option in partnership with many airlines. With this rail and fly option, you can travel by train from one of over 5,600 Deutsche Bahn stations to the airport and back again. The company praises itself as the fastest climate protector. Deutsche Bahn plans to run all its trains on renewable energy by 2040 and to become climate neutral soon after. India, which has the fourth largest rail network in the world, has already electrified 80% of its 69,000 km long network and it is moving towards carbon neutrality. India is on track to electrify its entire railway network by 2023 and it will be carbon neutral by 2030. They have already dished conventional lights and installed more energy efficient LED lights. Before you make up your mind, here is a fun fact. For routes with high speed trains, journeys up to 500 km are best done by train. If you take security check and travelling to the airport into account, 
trains generally take the same amount of time as flights and they are greener. So what we really need now will more high speed corridors in India like Mumbai Ahmedabad corridor and Delhi Meerut RRTS. Dear India, we need more of these. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching us. If you have liked our work, do follow DW Travel. Bye-bye. See you again in the next episode. Have a great time.